one of the speakers at one of my conferences uh, is a Buddhist monk, Galen Tubton. And he said, you know, when talking about relationships, he said not to see them as uh, toxic or make judgment. He said, see them as the shiniest, best equipment in the gym that are giving you the best workout. And this really resonated with me. But again, I could feel myself going, well, why the hell do I have to do all the work? But this is what it's about. Like, especially in the world of personal development, we hear that when you see a trait in somebody that you don't like, it triggers you, it challenges you, sends all these emotions, defensiveness, all the rest of it. It's often that we can have that trait in ourselves. And it's a calling for you to get honest with yourself, be authentic, mm-hmm. own it, and then heal it. You you talk about this, you know, peel it, feel it. No, what is it? Peel it, feel it, heal it. Heal it or deal with it. Yeah, yeah. But so there's that aspect, but there's also the aspect of, well, actually, is it a trait that I do have in myself or is it that my values have been, you know, this is completely the opposite of my own value system and that's why I'm triggered. So therefore, how do you identify the toxic behavior and whether it's in yourself or actually it's something else? Because, can it be the two or is it always bringing it back to self for mm-hmm. you to work on yourself to heal it and if you heal it in yourself that will create the ripple effect of healing it or helping to heal in the other person mm. um, not when you're living or, or, or dealing with you know someone with extreme borderline mm-hmm. personality disorder who's mm-hmm. refusing to acknowledge or look at any aspect of the behavior. Um, narcissistic personality disorder at the far end of the scale. Um, you know, you have a right to life too. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, uh, if you want to go to a Buddhist monastery and be a Buddhist monk, maybe uh, you don't come across too many of these situations, but a lot of the people that I work with. It's not real uh, life, is it? <laughs> it's, it? Well, it is real life yeah. in a well, Buddhist yeah. monastery, uh, but there are lots of protections in there in terms of you know what you're likely to come across in your average day but for the woman with three children who's growing up with you know the uh, raging alcoholic or drug using partner uh, or narcissistic personality disorder manipulative abuser um, then I would say no you know I don't think you really need to be doing a journey of personal development here I think you need to protect your kids okay. and I think you need to save your life Mm -hmm. Uh, And I think you need to take aversive action here. Mm -hmm. Um, Now, that's not to say that I would say to somebody, get the hell out and leave. I would certainly be looking to encourage them to make themselves safe. That is your priority as a parent, is to protect your children. So I don't think all of these relationships are um, exercises for for us to to practice a personal growth and development. But that's the far end. Yeah, I was going to say, at the far end, it is absolutely for you to learn, say, actually, value myself, value Mm -hmm. my safety, value my life and my kids, or, you know, whatever it might be. So that's the growth work there. But in terms of the more milder stuff that we can all be, we can be the, you know, controlling. I know I'm a control freak so you know yeah, we can, can all be, be moody all be, and yeah, yeah. Moody and tired and cranky and irritable and yeah, yeah. we wouldn't we don't like it you wouldn't want yeah. to see it on a video you know no. um, <laughs> no. yeah, a video of yourself on national television on having a bad day it uh, would probably sober you up pretty quickly mm-hmm. but um yeah we all do is that an excuse for continuing to do it no that's why you, you you're doing what you're doing and why i'm doing what i'm doing um we're constantly resetting the compass and saying that's the person you know I want to be the person I want to find I'd like my husband friend uh, colleague neighbor to treat me like that uh, to understand me to listen to me now I need to do that too yeah it's not enough for me to to recognize how I'd like them to be to always be charming and polite and smile when they see me and the face to light up and to to give me their full attention you know i, I need to do these things too yeah. yeah and you have to lead by that actually because you know that's one thing i'm certainly learning at the moment very much leading 
by that and going, well, if that's what I want from somebody else, I have to step up and do it first. But the, there is this challenge. I, I find the five-year-old self good. Well, they're not doing it. So, you know, why do, why do I always have to be the bigger person? Or, you know, and what yeah. happens if that other person isn't meeting you halfway? You know, you are, mm. you know, you're leading, you're doing, uh, managing, being mindful about your own actions mm. and trying to address it. But if the growth isn't coming with the other person, if they're not growing with you, and this is a challenge with relationships mm. that, mm. you know, they it can create a divide. So, Mm. you know, what's happening there? I mean, why do we see that? Is that the person just not ready to face and... They might be scared. Uh, They might not not like it. They might feel manipulated that, you know, you've decided to go on a journey and now you've decided we're all coming with you. Uh, That might be the challenge that learning where I finish and other people start, that, um, as I said, we all move in different paces and stages. So... You know, because I sign up for Change the World every day, um, does that mean the rest of the family do too? Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. And, and, and is, is, it, is, is it my way or the highway? So, yeah. you know, we need to work on our tolerance too in terms of um, they may be doing their work in different ways. And, uh, of course, it might be that uh, as one person in a relationship finds a big change happening, they move at a different pace and stage and it becomes intolerable. Mm. We're not saying that doesn't happen. Mm. Um, And it might be that the relationship can't sustain that.